With me at Accountex is Mark Perdue, who's the kind of lead guy for Thomson Reuters on making tax digital, and Gary Jacobs from EasyTax, who's the first accountant to have entered the pilot scheme. Hello. Mark, it's kind of things are a bit up in the air. Can you give us a, just a brief progress report of what is actually happening with Making Tax Digital? So with Making Tax Digital, the pilot is still ongoing. Um, certainly at a developer level, we're still getting daily communications about the technical changes that are happening. Uh, maybe at the business policy level, there's a little bit less communication. You're not hearing from them at the moment. Um, but yeah, it, it's still business as usual to an extent. Okay, so Gary, you know, there's a lot of unknowns that won't be resolved until we get a finance bill with the, the legislature and the follow-up regulations. But you're in the pilot, you've been doing it for about a month now. What can you tell us about how the system works and what it looks and feels like for you and your clients? Okay, so uh, um, at the moment it's really about the connection. Um, the HMRC have come down, we've had the engineers, um, they, uh, we've opened authorizations, we've opened the gateway. So it's about the look and the feel of the access. Uh, it's about two switches turning at either end. Um, and that's really where we've got to at the moment. Um, and of course, th there's been a brief hiatus. Uh, the second stage was supposed to be the passing of information through. Um, to be honest, my feeling uh, is that uh, they're still moving forward. We're still in communications with the HMRC. There's merely been a, a postponement of uh, uh, of the next stage, but only by a month or so. So uh, we know what it looks like. We know uh, about the authorizations. Uh, we've done the in initial tests. We're moving on to the mapping system and, and the information exchange next. So what do you think other practitioners you know, who may not have the head start, the guarantees, you know, what do you think the profession as a whole should be doing and thinking about MTD while we wait for the election result? Well, the key message I, I say to people initially is don't assume that MTD has been deferred or delayed in any way. Um, there's no reason at this stage to suggest that April 2018 isn't still going to be the go live date. Even if you're not in the pilot, there's still things that as a, as a practice you need to be thinking about. How you're going to educate your staff, how you're going to educate clients, um, and, to start, and working out which clients are going to be in and when, and which clients aren't, aren't part of MTD. These are all things you can be thinking about now. And what are you doing with your clients, said Gary? Well, I think education is the most important thing. Um, regardless of what's, uh, uh, of what's going on and the technical aspects of it, we're starting to talk to our clients about it. I think it's important that they see that it's nothing scary, that uh, our software people are on it and that we are aware of what's going on. Um, I think there's a big um, reliance on process. So if you're, already ready, uh, if you're already working on the process with your client, uh, you're already getting them to, to take their shoebox and their, their shopping bags uh, full of receipts, you know, on the, the low end, on the SA100. Uh, if, they're, if they're part of the process to actually digitise uh, and you're speaking to them about it, then MTD will fit around it quite nicely. So it's, it's about the education and it's also about not, not instilling fear. It, it, it's, you know, it's an inevitable, inevitability, but it's nothing to be feared at the moment. Well, thank you both for coming along and sharing. Thank you very much. Okay.